Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In the last session, we have seen how to fetch the data from a Google document with the help of uh, read all text activity. In the present session, we are going to find out the index of a particular word or a character from an existing Google document. So we will see how to find the index of this document ID with the help of UiPath Studio. So for that, uh, we are going to create one sequence in the UiPath. So I already created one sequence uh, with the name as get text index. So here I am going to use the same file which we have used in the previous video. So here this is the index for the welcome document. So I am going to copy this or else I will copy all this uh, G Suite application scope. So here I will delete the unwanted things. So this for each we don't need. And right and also we don't need now. So here for identifying the index of a particular word, we have an activity in the activities of G Suite Docs. So search with the docs. So here if you observe, we have one activity called get text index. Just drag and drop this activity into Designer panel inside the Z Suite application scope. So here, if you observe, the inputs for this are document ID and the text. So this text field is nothing but the word or a character which we want to identify in our Google document. Okay. So here we need to provide the inputs of document ID, right? So I'm going to provide the document ID here. I'll just remove this read all text. And here another input what we need to provide is the field, whatever the element we want to identify. So for example, I'll take this document ID. So here, I just place this here. I'm just removing the spaces as well. So here, it is present in the second line. So it means, so here the index starts from 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So enter also will take consider as a single character. So at 16th position, we should get this document ID. And so here, if you observe the output, so it contains the indexes as the title. So which is nothing but the list of integers. As you can see the message there, a list of integers, all the starting indexes at which text is found. Okay, so here I will create one variable called so text indexes. So this contains all the indexes when this uh, text value is identified in the Google document. So for printing this, so here I will use one right line activity. So I'll just copy and paste it inside the C suit application scope. So here you provide this text indexes variable. So as it is an array, here if you observe this int 32 is an array. So we need to place it inside a for each row. So for each loop. So just place the for each loop and keep the right line inside this body. And here we'll provide the text index variable name. So here we have item. So I'll just create one more variable with name as item. So this item points to the array's first index, second index, or index till the index ends. So we'll get the number of uh, positions from this test indexes variable. So here I will print item. So as it is a numeric, it won't print on the output. So we need to convert it into a text. So for that, I am going to use two string. Okay, so now this will print the positions wherever this document ID is found, it will print on the output panel. Okay, let's run this now. So the execution is static. So we have the text. Okay, let me uh, set the account. Let's click on advance, go to your path and save. Hello.
so now we can get this information so yeah so here we got the position number as 16 which is nothing but the index of this character document id so for example let's check for one more thing id this time so here we have uh, id at the three positions so this is one position second and third so it means we should get three indexes okay let's check now so the execution is started again so we got uh, three indexes as we have seen the id is placed at three positions here in the document id after the and the document space id so here in the output we got the three indexes so let's do one thing so this is case sensitive for suppose if i am giving i space i small d so this time let's check the output so this time we won't get any index value as we don't have any exact match for the id so here all these ids are with capitals so i capital i and capital d so here our input is capital i and small d that's why you are not seeing any index here in the output panel so like this we are going to use this test index activity in the future classes so we'll see some more examples about this so that's all for this section i hope you like this video if you like this video please click on the like button and please do subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos on your path studio thank you